All right, next example, we have 281 minus 159. As always, step one, we have to determine whether or not we're grouping is needed. So looking at this problem, the top number is bigger in the hundreds place, the top number is bigger in the tens place, so the only place we need regrouping is the ones place. You cannot start out with one and take away nine. So we have to take away one from the tens place and add 10 to the ones place. So the eight becomes a seven and the one becomes an 11. Back in the 90s and early 2000s, we used to call this borrowing, but it's not really borrowing because we do not give it back. All right, now we are ready to subtract. 11 minus nine equals two. Seven minus five equals two. Two minus one equals one. And we have our final answer. 281 minus 159 equals 122.